Imagine a world where energy is no longer a concern, no blackouts, no soaring electricity bills, and no geopolitical struggles over oil and gas. Sounds like science fiction, right? But China is working to turn this vision into reality with a revolutionary approach that could transform everything we know about energy production. The world is facing an energy crisis. Fossil fuels are being depleted. Renewable sources like solar and wind are inconsistent, and nuclear power comes with significant safety risks. But what if there were a clean, nearly limitless energy source hidden in plain sight? China has been quietly developing a project that could make unlimited energy possible. Thorium-based nuclear reactors. China's thorium revolution could reshape global energy markets. This is not just another experiment. It's a major leap toward a future where energy shortages become a thing of the past. And the best part? It's safer, cleaner, and more efficient than anything we've seen before. But how does it work? And more importantly, how will it impact you? Stick around, because what you're about to hear might just change the way you think about energy. For decades, the world has relied on coal, oil, and natural gas for power. These resources have fueled industrial revolutions, economic booms, and technological advancements. But there's a catch. They're destroying the planet and running out fast. Take coal, for example. It still provides around 36% of global electricity, but it's the biggest contributor to CO2 emissions. Oil and natural gas aren't much better. Not only do they pollute, but they also make countries dependent on politically unstable regions. Nuclear power, on the other hand, offers a low-carbon alternative, but it comes with serious safety concerns. The disasters at Chernobyl, Fukushima, and Three Mile Island are grim reminders of what can happen when things go wrong. Plus, traditional uranium-based reactors produce hazardous waste that remains radioactive for thousands of years. The world desperately needs a breakthrough. Enter thorium, an element that could revolutionize energy production. China has always been a leader in technological advancements, and its latest energy initiative might be its most ambitious yet. The Chinese government has invested billions into a new type of nuclear reactor that runs on thorium instead of uranium. In September 2021, China officially launched its first experimental molten salt thorium reactor in the Gobi Desert. Unlike traditional nuclear reactors, this one operates with liquid fuel rather than solid fuel rods. This makes it much safer because if a problem arises, the molten salt naturally cools down, preventing a meltdown. China's thorium reactor is a game changer. It could generate more energy than coal produce 99% less nuclear waste than uranium reactors, and operate with almost no risk of catastrophic failure. The goal? To develop commercial reactors capable of powering entire cities without the dangers of traditional nuclear plants. If successful, China could become the first country to fully harness thorium's potential, making fossil fuels obsolete and securing its position as a global energy leader. So why is thorium such a big deal? And why haven't we been using it all along? For starters, thorium is three to four times more abundant than uranium. Countries like China, India, the United States, and Australia have vast reserves, meaning energy independence is attainable for many nations. Second, thorium reactors don't produce weapons-grade byproducts. Unlike uranium-based reactors, which generate plutonium, a key component in nuclear weapons, Thorium reactors significantly reduce the risk of nuclear proliferation. Third, the waste problem is almost eliminated. Uranium reactors leave behind highly toxic, radioactive waste that remains hazardous for tens of thousands of years. Thorium reactors, however, produce waste that decays to safe levels in just 300 years, a fraction of the time. With so many advantages, thorium seems like an obvious choice. But is China's experiment really working? Let's look at the numbers. China has already made significant progress in testing thorium-based nuclear power. The experimental reactor in the Gobi Desert was designed to generate 2 megawatts of thermal power, enough to power 1,000 homes. While this might sound small, it's just the beginning. The next step, scaling up. China's ultimate plan is to build a 373-megawatt commercial thorium reactor 
by 2030. This would provide energy to hundreds of thousands of homes and serve as proof that large-scale thorium energy is viable. Researchers have also measured the reactor's efficiency. Compared to conventional uranium reactors, thorium reactors operate at higher temperatures, making them more efficient and reducing operational costs. The key challenge now is proving that thorium reactors can consistently deliver stable energy on a commercial scale. But if early test results are any indication, we might be looking at the future of nuclear power. Let's talk money. One of the biggest arguments against traditional nuclear power is cost. The biggest challenge is scaling up. While experimental reactors show promise, commercial plants need to prove their reliability over time. Building the necessary infrastructure is another hurdle. Countries that rely on uranium-based reactors may be hesitant to switch. The oil and gas industries are massive, and a shift toward the thorium energy could threaten trillions of dollars in investments. Powerful lobbies may attempt to slow down progress. But despite these challenges, China is pushing forward. The future of energy might already be here. It's just a matter of time before the world catches up. So, what does the future look like? If China succeeds, we could see thorium reactors emerging worldwide within the next 20 years. Imagine cities running on clean, nearly unlimited energy. Thorium might not just be the future of China's energy. It could be the future of global energy. So, what do you think? Could thorium be the key to solving the world's energy crisis? Let me know in the comments. And if you found this video informative, don't forget to like and subscribe.